Oh, do it, Kubo. Oh, what a goal, Kubo, my boy! Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new card to review today. We got Kubo's card to review today. This is, this is going to be a fun one. I'm actually kind of excited for this one because... Kubo is like one of those young talents in real life that recently got transferred to Real Madrid and went on loan to Mallorca. Uh, he's really saucy, man. I think this kid has a lot of potential in the future, so it's really cool that he got a card. Uh, I'm super excited to review it because he has all the bare minimums to make him a usable player, so it should be very exciting to, to test out in-game. We have a player that is 5'8 with high-medium work rates. Thank God he's not high-low work rates. Thank God, because I have Nakajima from FC Porto, and I wish he was high-medium because the high-lows... Drive me insane for those certain positions I want to use them in. High lows is okay for striker, not necessarily for left cam, right cam and stuff, right? Um, four star, four star, left footed. So right off the bat, I want to try this card out in the right cam position. That's my first initial thought, right? Um, in regards to his actual card, basic card... Uh, basic chem style card actually gives him good boosts in general areas. I, we 80, 89 finishing with 89 shot power. He gets a 94 sprint speed. Not bad. Basic actually gives him some good stuff. So we are going to try that out first. Now, the thing about this card that we're going to have to experiment with is going to be specifically the dribbling, right? Because he is 5'8", right? And his reactions are so low and his composure is so low, we have to test and see if it's actually a nuisance considering the height that he has. Now, if he was someone that was like, I would say five foot 11, five foot 10, six foot, you know, it could present to be a problem to have dribbling that low. But when your center of gravity is so low because you're five foot eight, sometimes their movement, the reactions doesn't need to be that high. Now, obviously I think personally, I would still wanna give him the sniper chemistry style because I would like to increase the composure to a five and the reactions by a five, as well as the finishing to essentially be perfect. 85 shot power is okay, but having the finishing to be maxed out is pretty nice. But basic does look really good on the card. This card's gonna have no physical presence, right? He has no physical stats, he's five foot eight. So everything about this card, it's, it's I'm telling you guys, it's screaming Nakajima to me. It really is, it's screaming it because very similar situation to Nakajima. It's just, you have to experiment with what his height is like in game, right? Because that's the problem with both of the cards that they're short, right? So the dribbling really needs to compensate for the lack of height. Uh, basic, we're gonna try that out first. We're gonna try that out on the right cam position. I'm going to show you guys a team that we're going to be lined up with here. My boy Ronaldo coming in clutch as he normally does. Uh, we're going to be using the 4-2-3-1, right? Uh, or Altius. I'm going to call him Altius now because he gave me his Twitch username today. Um, we're going to be using the 4-2-3-1 with Odegaard playing in the central cam position with Kubo playing off to the right side. The different positions I would like to try out Kubo in is going to be striker for the fun concept because I might do the card just for that Japanese link up to Nakajima because... You guys know, fun concept is, is in my head when it comes to FIFA, right? Like, I try to play the game with, like, cool concept cards that I actually like, right? Uh, Kubo, off to the right side. We're going to try that out first. But we want to try him out in the central cam and striker position, too. The left cam and right cam position are very similar to each other. You have to kind of see what their off-the-ball movement is like. I kind of like left-footed on the right side with the right with the four-star weak foot because it allows me to kind of like transition back really nicely but also use my strong foot to hit it near post or use my weak foot to you know cut back cut inside and then you know shoot it across goal or shoot it near post so that's what we're going to be experimenting with i really the whole thing with this card right now is really going to revolve around his dribbling i hope it's really good um come back in defense is going to be set for him if his stamina is good, I don't know if his stamina is good. Let me check his stamina real quick. Oh, thank you, EA. You guys actually gave him stamina because it literally hurts no one to give players stamina. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and try out this team in-game and see how it plays. Aggressive attacking, okay. So he does that and he transitions back pretty quickly. He's kind of like going around that general position. Let's see what his dribbling is like here. It's pretty nice, actually. Oh, are you going to score that? No, he's not. Oh, my God. That would have been so sick. If he scored from facing away from the goal like that, that would have been insane, my dude. <laughs> I should have done a fake shot stop after the heel to heel or a body uh, a body feint upwards to try to get it on his left foot. But his dribbling is not too bad. I will say I do think I still want to increase the uh, composure and reactions, though. I am noticing it a little bit so far in the card, but he he's pretty fun to use so far. 
He's an aggressive attacker, eh? He, he likes to utilize that space instantly. Let's see what we got here. Do the shielding here. Shielding pretty decent, not too bad. Let's get that middle space right there with the Jovic. Ball roll. Heel to heel. Oh, almost got past the goalkeeper there. Because I'm aiming straight towards the goalkeeper, I like to test out the different angles to get past him. Uh, but because I'm aiming straight right there, I do want to go for the ball roll touch. Uh, the angle to do the heel to heel there doesn't really make that much sense, right? You have to kind of like approach it in different, uh, in different general areas. His skill moves are really nice, actually. His height is uh, his height is not presenting to be a problem. Um, he actually feels taller in game, which is good. He doesn't feel like he's five foot eight. He feels like he's like a five foot uh, nine or ten ish. And I know that some people are gonna be like, "Oh, but that's not that really that really that big of a deal." It kind of is from time to time, though, to have uh, height to general be generally be like that. His dribbling is really nice. I really like it. I do, but the reactions I am noticing that it needs to be higher because it's uh it's kind of like those pressure situations where you need to do that really quick cut that he's not gonna do that well. That's the kind of that's the kind of like uh, attacking play style that I'm talking about. Oh, makes a transition on the middle. That's good. That's very very important to do in that general position. Nice little shielding. We still have the ball. Look at this guy. He's still chasing me, dude. <laughs> his dribbling is, like, really nice. It kind of, like, sticks to his foot really nicely. Let's see if he could shoot it from here. He doesn't because of the AI block. But, um, yeah, his dribbling is very responsive, though. So without me triggering the run, he's an aggressive... Yeah, he's an aggressive attacker for sure. I'd even trigger that run with him and he was already making runs forward. Gotta wait for the opening here. The ball, Jovic. Shield as much as possible. First time pass. That's the angle right there, you see? So when you're when you're face at a 45 degree angle, that's when it makes sense to aim for the um, for the heel to heel, right? Ball roll touch, it could work in that specific position too, but it's more effective when you're aiming kind of like directly towards the goalkeeper, you know? So just food for thought for those for both of those skill moves. Sometimes I do it wrong too. I'm not perfect. Like my it's all last second decision making too, right? So Woo, Jovic with that power strike, my boy. Good layoff pass with Kubo right there, actually. Rude Holy with the shot. Oof. A little dribble dribble right there. Oh, we almost got that with the back heel to it. Oh, do it, Kubo. Oh, what a goal, Kubo, my boy. Let's go. Oh, my God. What a goal, man. Okay, so settled finesse shots. He's not that bad at taking them, actually. Really nice with him there. Did an extra touch there that I just did not expect him to do at all. Nice, Odegaard. Great finish. See, that's the angle, right? So when you get the angle, that's when you do the heel-to-heel -heel chop. Or not the heel-to-heel -heel chop, but you do the heel-to-heel -heel skill move. All right, guys. So final verdict on the card. It's a tricky situation with this card in regards to chemistry styles, right? Because I liked how he played on basic. But the thing that annoyed me, the two things that annoyed me the most with the card on the basic chemistry style right, was the fact that his reactions is still a 71 and his composure is still a 74. From time to time, it was noticeable that those two things were annoying me a lot, right? So, but it looks like with this card, basic, it kind of seems like it's the best chemistry style to give him. I also think Sniper would be a huge plus in the card too, because here's the thing with Sniper, right? If you already have 99 acceleration with 89 sprint speed, right? 99 acceleration is beautiful to have instead of the sprint speed because everything is more about like getting into the play, accelerating into the play, stuff like that, right? So 
Bing's 89 sprint speed is already pretty decent because acceleration will kind of carry your sprint speed a little bit until a certain extent. It's more when you're chasing after the ball that it could present to be a problem uh, from time to time, but it depends on how often you actually do that, right? If you give him the sniper chemistry style, him having 85 shot power, right, is pretty decent. It's decent. It's not amazing, but it's decent. It makes a card usable because you're going to give him a plus 10 for finishing. But the important things, two things here that you need to improve to make this card responsive and just really fun to use is increasing the reactions and the composure as much as possible, right? Because composure being at 74 can be a nuisance from time to time, but the reactions especially is a thing that I felt like was a nuisance in regards to his responsive dribbling. I do think if you give him a plus five for reactions, it will help the card significantly. It was beautiful to use him in my honest opinion because I did try him in the second game in the striker and the cam position. I think he's meant to be used as a right mid, right attacking mid player. That's the best position I thought he was uh, I thought he was playing really well. And he did those transitioning around the inside every time I had one player on the side. And I really like when my players do that, right? So I really enjoyed uh, using Kubo's card. It's a really fun concept card. 140K, I will admit, is a little steep for the card. But there's a lot of hype surrounding Kubo because he's one of those like young talents that a lot of people know about. So it kind of makes sense in that regard. And, you know, people, there is also the SPCs from the 81 pluses and the 83 pluses. So there's that variable as well to be able to get the card. So it really depends on up to you if you, if it's, if it's a, a card that's worth getting or not. Um, I have a lot, of, I had a lot of fun using the card. I think a sniper chemistry style is the best chemistry style to give him. What did Footbin, what did people on Footbin give him? A marksman? Uh, if you give him a marksman... Marksman gives him a plus five in the reaction, so you're not touching the composure, but you're giving him sh significant shooting increases. Significant shooting increases, and you're also giving him physical presence. I don't think the physical presence is necessary on the card. I think a sniper would make... But he does get significant shooting boost, too. You know what? I would agree with uh, with people on Footbin. Marksman and sniper would be the best. I still think sniper would be the best, so to boost that composure and reactions. That's pretty much it for the video today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the support you guys have shown the channel this year. So far, it's been amazing. We're going to have a good year this year, boys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.